I'm Andrew Somerji from the University of Adelaide Pharmacology. I trained as a pharmacist and did my PhD in clinical pharmacology. And I've been working in the area of opioid clinical pharmacology for probably almost 30 years. And opioids, as you know, we are used in pain therapy and also in the addiction area. So in the addiction area, uh, with respect to opioids, you know, we're basically dealing with heroin addiction and its treatment. And I do a lot of work in the genetics area and in particular pharmacogenetics where we're dealing with how the drug influences uh, the response in addiction and how a person's genetic makeup can affect that. There are two aspects in heroin addiction that uh, people might need to know about, some new developments. They are one that we know that um, in many of the addictions, the genetic contribution is between about 30 and 50%. And it's been difficult to unravel what actual genetic factors are involved. We thought they were mainly dealing with the receptors that deal with the addiction pathway. So the dopamine uh, receptors, the opioid receptors, they're fine. We know a little bit about those, but more interesting observations have been actually the intracellular um, addiction pathways and messenger systems appear to be coming important predictors in this genetics prediction of addiction. So that's one area that sort of expanded over the years. The other area is I work a lot in the methadone um, program and here uh, there's wide variability in dosage requirements of methadone even though there are policies and guidelines around that but uh, particularly with methadone, we now know that one of the contributors to optimization of therapy is in the genetics of not only how it's broken down, but also transporting out of the brain of methadone. So we've been doing a lot of work looking at the propensity of people not to respond to methadone because of these two major uh, genetic factors.